People looking for work across the state of California are doing it in a shifting job market. KTVU's Tom Baker takes a look at what's behind the change. Even though job growth is positive in California, that growth has slowed significantly. In August, new jobs stood at 20,000, way less than the 60,000 new jobs the Golden State has averaged in the last year. On the other side of slowing job growth, the number of layoffs are now increasing. Employment lawyer Michael Bernick is a former EDD director. Um, I think it's a warning signal that um, our the healthy job growth and um, enormous recovery of jobs in the past two years is slowing and we're entering a new phase. All of this caused the unemployment rate to increase slightly from 3.9 to 4.1%. Still very low by all historic standards here in California. At some time, a slowdown in growth was expected since the state has already recovered more than 97% of the 2.7 million jobs lost during the first months of the pandemic. But layoffs, especially in banking, finance, technology, are ticking up, but not spiking. Across the labor market, California employers continue to try to hold on to workers. Um, given the difficulty, of course, of finding work. In fact, there are now a near record 1.3 million California job openings, 150,000 more than previous months, including the astonishing reality that once again, more than 400,000 workers quit their jobs. At the same time, among blue collar jobs and direct service jobs, these are jobs in home repair, and jobs in certified nurse assistants and long-term care and um, disability services, independent living coaches and support staff, um, employers can't find workers. Fact remains, if you want a job, you're likely to find one, especially if you're willing to try something where special skills or degrees are not mandatory. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News.